So in non-squamous, non-small cell, we do like to consider maintenance treatment, especially if they are, don't have a driver mutation and they're getting systemic chemotherapy. Um, if they're getting platinum pemetrexed, then usually after four to six cycles in patients who have stable disease or a response, I like to give maintenance pemetrexed. Um, in patients where we add the bevacizumab to their initial therapy, then we do consider either continuing pemetrexed maintenance or doing pemetrexed bevacizumab maintenance. But I think any patient who has a good performance status, who's tolerating therapy very well, who has a nice disease control, meaning stable disease or a response, they should be considered or offered the option of doing maintenance treatment. We have multiple different platinum doublets to choose from for our patients with metastatic lung cancer. Those include usually carboplatin, sometimes cisplatin, and then we can couple it with different drugs. The one used the most often in adenocarcinoma is the pemetrexid, and there's randomized phase three data supporting maintenance pemetrexid if that drug is given. So patients who get four to six cycles of carboplatin and pemetrexid or cisplatin and pemetrexid, if they continue on the pemetrexid as a single agent afterwards, have a longer time progression-free survival and also overall survival compared to stopping it and not giving a maintenance. And so that is the way that the drug is given routinely. The questions around maintenance, were, we still have some. And one of those has to do with if we're adding in bevacizumab, the anti-VEGF antibody. If that drug is given with the carboplatin paclitaxel, which is how it was studied on the ECOG 4599 trial, then the carboplatin and paclitaxel are stopped after four to six cycles. The bevacizumab is continued. Do we know we have to do that? We don't. And there is an ongoing ECOG trial, ECOG, this Eastern Cooperative Oncology Group trial, where patients receive the carboplatin, paclitaxel, bevacizumab. After the four cycles, those who had not progressed were then randomized to get bevacizumab alone, which is the same as the 4599 regimen, or to get pemetrexid, the chemotherapy drug pemetrexid, or to get both. So that's going to give us some more information about what's the role of maintenance for bevacizumab, what's the role of maintenance with pemetrexid in a switch maintenance setting, and what's the role of both, and is there advantage to combining those together? So that's, we don't have the data yet to know if that's the way things are gonna move or not, and which of those drugs will be standard, but the standard of care at this time is if bevacizumab's given, it's given as maintenance. If pemetrexid's given, it's given as maintenance. Sometimes the two are given together as maintenance, but we don't have firm data about that yet to say that that's the right way to go. When patients are given other platinum doublets like paclitaxel, that's not usually continued because of ongoing issues with neuropathy. There is a study looking at patients who are getting the NAB paclitaxel, that that drug may be able to be continued as a maintenance, but that's an ongoing trial. Gemcitabine is sometimes given as maintenance if that's given as part of the platinum doublet. The data there is a little bit softer. I do tend to do that in my patients where I give gemcitabine, but a lot of other people don't. So those are how we think about maintenance. If I give platinum pemetrexid, I always give pemetrexid maintenance. Usually it's well tolerated. Usually over time, we do have to lower the dose. We do have to spread out the treatment interval from every three weeks to every four weeks and tend to do that stepwise so that if patients are on for a year, and many of them are, they're usually getting it at a lower dose every four weeks as opposed to the initial dosing every three weeks. Occasionally, patients will start to develop more issues with fatigue over time, which necessitates those reductions and even stopping. Sometimes more edema will build up over time, and then we'll have to stop. So the reasons that things can happen, renal function issues where we have to stop, but the vast majority do tend to be able to tolerate the maintenance as long as the drug is still controlling the cancer. Maintenance pemetrexid is actually a good option for many of our patients. We know that it improves progression-free and overall survival and is very well tolerated. The main side effects that you do want to watch out for are anemia, and then certainly sometimes the patients can get fatigue. So those are always important to monitor. It's important to make sure the patients are taking their vitamin supplementation, maintaining their weight with a good diet, and also taking the dex dexamethasone um, premedication. If they do do that, then you can often maintain them with the maintenance pemetrexid for quite some time. Pemetrexid is a drug that I use as a maintenance therapy. Uh, I think early in its development, we were giving four cycles alone, but uh, we know from pivotal 
uh, randomized trials uh, that maintenance therapy in different settings can be valuable, and, and this, this is true in pemetrexid. So when you give somebody four cycles of a platinum doublet that includes pemetrexid, uh, and then you continue pemetrexid alone, compared with patients who just stop at that point, there's an improvement in overall survival in the group that continues pemetrexid. And that, that's my strategy is I, I give pemetrexid as long as patients are tolerating it and they're benefiting from it. So if there's no progressive disease, um, I believe that they can benefit in terms of long-term disease control and overall survival. Um, most patients I offer maintenance pemetrexid to choose to remain on that indefinitely, but there can be patients who simply don't want to do that. They would prefer to stop or take what we call holidays where they take a month or two or three off. Um, I guess I even do some unusual things sometimes where instead of every three weeks, I'll agree to an alternate schedule, say every month or even stretch it out a little bit, uh, a little bit longer for patients. But in general, maintenance therapy is something that uh, I've become, an, a, um, I guess, a supporter of, but I only do it with uh, pemetrexid. So I don't, I don't do that with other chemotherapeutic agents. I do use bevacizumab, um, although I don't use as much as I used to use of it, and that was another drug I used in a so-called maintenance fashion. Uh, but by and large, I think pemetrexid is, is the maintenance drug I use.